Thank you very much, Dave. Our seven first alert team coverage continues right now. We go to Jeff Vaughn live in Oakland County with a look at the conditions out there tonight. Jeff? That's right, Stephen. We are live in Franklin. You take a look here. I would gauge this is about two, maybe two and a half inches of snow that has fallen so far tonight. There are 50 crews out on the roads in Oakland County making sure that they are hitting every single spot and they will call in more if needed, all because of old man winter. Yeah, he's back. She's talking about old man winter, his icy touch bringing back snow for another frosty night. I love the snow. I love the snow. This man hired to get customers for a tax service says you can count on two things leading up to the season, procrastinators and snow. You can't do taxes in the, in the summertime. The quickly falling snow creates a ghost town effect in Royal Oak, where store owners are planning for another slow night. People do have a hard time getting down here. Um, the snow does hinder that. Elliot Arabo of Smokey's Cigars tells me the driving snow drives away customers. If they know there's three to six inches of snow coming down, uh, they'll probably rent a movie, stay at home, order out, uh, make it a lot easier for them. Workers scramble to stay ahead of the snow, bringing shovels out once again during a record breaking season of accumulation. Breaking my back out here. The snow slows some, but doesn't stop everyone like this bicyclist. Or a couple from enjoying a midwinter break. Why are you venturing out on such a snowy night? Why not? That is, as long as they don't get a ticket. You're putting money in the meter. Do you think they're actually going to ticket you for, for parking all this snow? Yeah, yeah probably. It's Royal Oak. <laughs> on the roads, snow falling swiftly in Oakland County along 696, where drivers can't find their lanes as the highway is snow packed. Oakland County Road Commission tells me 50 crews out on the roads right now, and they will ramp up to as much as 106 salt trucks out on the roads if needed. They'll start ramping that up at midnight tonight, Stephen, all the way through until tomorrow's morning commute. Live in right, Oakland Jeff, County, thank you Jeff so much Vaughn, Oakland 7 County. Action we turn out a 7 Action News reporter, Andy Choi, who's standing by live in Wayne County with a look at the conditions, the roads there, and the plan there. Andy? Yeah, the plan is simple. Just stay out until everything is clear. You know, a lot of people had the day off for President's Day today. Not the case here in Wayne County. Crews were working all day to patch up some rough spots on the roads. Now the transition is to go from potholes to plows. It's our goal to have this as clear as possible for tomorrow's rush hour commute. Here we go again. The flakes you see falling on Wayne County tonight means crews are once again burning the midnight oil. But President's Day seems to have helped them out. It did come down hard and fast, but the good news is that it was President's Day, so we had lighter traffic volumes on the roads today, so that really helped out, in the, in, of course, into this evening as well. So, yeah, it came down probably at a good time, uh, considering how traffic, you know, runs on the freeways and everything. And while nature's accumulation moves fast, warmer temperatures mean easier cleanup. But the job isn't over once the snow gets cleared. We're going to make sure that the shoulders are pushed back. We want to make sure that all the catch basins are cleared because obviously we've got rain coming uh, possibly on Thursday. So it's real important that we have a place for the water to drain. Still lots of work tonight. A hundred trucks here in Wayne County using the salt dome today. You know, 80,000 tons of salt will be used, or they're about to exceed that 80,000 mark last year, uh, about 68,000. An even more staggering figure for the season here is that compared to last year's total maintenance spending, Wayne County will be spending 196% more than last year's totals, all because of nights like this one. We're Live in Wayne County tonight, Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Carolyn? All 